joining me. Today I'm just going to do a very quick project with um, some clear contact paper. This is called Magic Cover and I got it at our local store called Vimart. It's like a mini box store. And um, this is its black equivalent. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe it's called Magic Cover too. Somewhere. <laughs> there. Okay, far up on there I saw it. So you can also get this in black, or I mean in white, and in all kinds of different colors. And you can find it at the dollar store. So look for contact paper. Um, I put some links on the Scan and Cut group um, for contact paper on Amazon. But if you need help, you know, you can always ask. So what I'm going to do is just a really fast, I'm going to show you how to use contact paper and clear contact paper as transfer tape. And if you use a lot of transfer tape, you're going to love this because you know how expensive this can be. So let's just make it simple. Let's... Hmm. No, that's silly. I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. Very simple heart in the style that I would make. So if you have a scanning cut like I do, you can actually draw this onto cardstock and scan it into the machine and save it. And then you can make this bigger, smaller, and you can make a hundred of them or two gigantic ones or one gigantic one. I just love my machine so much. But I'm showing it to you this way so that it can kind of reach a broader audience because drawing stuff on contact paper is so easy and then you get your in this case really funky heart <laughs> okay so we're gonna leave that just like that we're not gonna take the adhesive off yet okay and you should have already washed this down or wiped it down with some alcohol so we're gonna take a piece of the clear contact paper that's big enough to go over the whole heart okay we're just gonna cut that off we're going to take this off of it. Come on. Okay. So, I'm sorry about my fingernails. I paint. And I don't use gloves a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just stick it over the top of this. Okay? And it's going to immediately jump onto there, and that's fine. Okay. And then we're going to take this part off, making sure that the black of the contact paper stays on the transfer tape. Okay. And then we're going to take our cup and set it like that. And we're going to take this, see how it's all on here now. We're going to take that and put that there, and we're only going to press on the black part, okay? You don't need to press on the clear part because that part is getting lifted up. Okay, so if you want to use your tools, like a squeegee and stuff like that, do that too. And you can also use um, Glad Press and Seal to transfer these, but it does leave a little bit of a, um, like a dotted glue thing um, over the top of your design so it's a little annoying but there you go use just clear contact paper to transfer just regular contact paper onto a mug okay so I hope that this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions look in my description for links to um, all the groups that I'm in on Facebook and the one that I'm most active in right now is my Scan and Cut group because I'm learning it and it's new and it's a whole lot of fun. So that's where you can probably find me the easiest. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.